All right, so next up, I wanna talk about a different command you may come across that we can use to switch branches. It's called git checkout. You can see it here, git checkout with a branch name will do the exact same thing as git switch with the same branch name. It just switches us to whatever this branch name is. Um, so this command, git checkout, existed for a long time. It still exists in git, and it does a lot more than just switching branches. So it's, it's kind of a Swiss army knife of Git. It doesn't do everything. Uh, I guess neither does a Swiss army knife, but it does a lot more. And for uh, a lot of users, this was confusing uh, and just it felt like it did too many things. So Git switch was introduced. It's newer. So the command we've been using, Git switch, is the newer, fancier way of switching branches. But this is the old school way and it still works. And I'm showing it to you because you'll still see this for sure all over the place in documentation uh, or on blog posts, YouTube videos, that sort of thing. Coworkers might uh, use Git checkout to switch branches. Plus, Git switch is still liable to change, although it's been around now for a little while. Uh, I, I don't expect it to. So let me just demonstrate this. I'm on empty playlist. We can see I've got my four branches. Let's switch to oldies. So instead of git switch, I'll do git checkout oldies. And it's the same behavior. I'm now on the oldies branch, as we can see there, and my file has been updated to reflect what's on the oldies branch. So that's kind of all there is to using git checkout in that one particular way. But remember, git checkout does a lot more. You can read about it on the docs, although I really recommend you don't read it right now. Uh, just know this first part. We can use it to switch branches, but then there's this whole other thing, restore working tree files. Look at all the different options for how we use it. We will get into checkout later on, uh, but in terms of switching branches, it's very, very simple. With that said, I still prefer git switch. Now, another thing that we can do uh, is instead of creating a branch and then switching to it in two separate steps, we can do it all in one go. We can do it with git switch if we add dash C as an option for create. So we provide a branch name and it will create that branch and then switch us over to it all at once. So this can be pretty useful in my opinion. Let's make a new branch uh, from, let's go back to master maybe. So we'll go back to master. We'll use switch or check out, it doesn't matter. All right, so I'm gonna make my new branch with this shortcut I showed you, git switch dash C, and then a branch name that doesn't exist yet. So I'll switch, uh, I'm gonna call it recent-ish music, <laughs> like that. And notice it made it and I switched to it. So without the dash C, it would give me a, a, an error, right? Just like this error. It can't find that branch to switch to, but with dash C, it makes the branch for me and then switches over. And I'll just add two songs for some recent music. I'll remove ABBA, Phoebe Bridgers, by the way, if you don't know her, very talented singer songwriter. And I'll just add and commit that. I'll do it in two steps this time. Okay, add two Phoebe Bridgers songs. There we go. Uh, and that's kind of all I wanted to show you here. Now there is an equivalent command if you use git checkout. But unfortunately, it's git checkout dash B, B as in boy, B for branch. It's very confusing. I don't know why they went with dash B, but uh, it's just how it works. If you wanna make a branch and check it out in one go, git checkout dash B or git switch dash C. And again, I prefer this, but you'll see git checkout used. All right, so we've got some pretty good practice now, making branches and switching, making new commits on separate branches, switching between them. Hopefully it's clear, uh, or at least becoming clear how this all works. One thing though, that my limited example has not illustrated is that we can have as many files as needed, right? I don't want you to think that uh, branches exist on a per file basis. We do see this one file being updated but I could make another file on one of these branches and Git will make sure that it exists on that branch and does not exist on the other branches or Git will update all relevant files and folders depending on the branch. So it's not limited to just one file, even though my simple demo has been. All right, so that's it for this video.